everyone, I'm Suzu, and I'm Nasio Yong Bunjun and Jiji Nida. And in today's video, I just want to hang out and do a yes style challenge and also drink some tea. I'm dehydrated. And as you probably can tell from the title, I'm doing a yes style challenge where they sent me some clothes and some makeup and try to make an outfit out of it. And most of these items are not really my style, so it so I have to go a little bit out of my comfort zone. But first, I really want to give some background information about this challenge and how it came to be. So I'm a Yes Style influencer. They asked me last year to become one. I'm not sure if they will prolong my influencer status for this year. I'll have to hear in March, I think, because in March, that's when my uh, contract ends. But yeah, sometimes they kind of select a few of their influencers and they get free stuff and do a video about it or Instagram post. This time they asked me to make a YouTube video. So that's what I'm doing. But I had no idea what kind of items they would send. It is totally like a surprise. I love K-style and K-fashion, but there are also parts of the K-fashion that's not really my style. I don't like the super, super girly things, you know? Yeah, that or super sexy. I'm not really into that either. I, I guess I just like to be comfortable, but I'm not entirely sure because just like you guys, I've just stayed at home and <laughs> I've mostly been wearing like um slacks and like oversized t-shirts and just something i was comfortable in so i don't know what i like as a style if i would go out right now like i'm just wearing a t-shirt and you know easy pants in my family we call it slobberbog it basically means like pants to chill in and not really look fashionable like it's not fashionable but it's comfortable but yeah i also just really wanted to hang out with you guys so if you guys want to talk about something then comment down below i'm really curious how you guys have been doing so let's have some fun together and do like a like a dress-up party anyway i want to show you first what kind of things they sent me like one of the items that they gave me is this one it is basically like an eye glitter gel and then the other one is a lipstick first accessory item that i got was a bag yeah. it's like a small bag i guess it's quite useful but i'm not really into these kinds of small bags i just like them to be longer so that you yeah i'm not entirely sure how to explain but um this is kind of out of my comfort zone so it will be fun another thing that's really out of my comfort zone are these clips that i got so these are all different kinds of pearl clips like i have to admit they're really cute but it's just not something that i would wear i also got earrings but unfortunately i don't have my ear piercings anymore i used to have five but uh <laughs> i had an allergic reaction and i just had to uh, remove all of them so yeah these are some cute earrings but unfortunately you will not see them in my outfits <laughs> okay and then the first clothing item that i got is this sheer white top but it, it's a bit stretchy and and it's quite long so yeah I, I think this would be fun to have and the second shirt i'm actually happy of getting because it's quite basic it's just a basic shirt a little bit tight but it's very stretchy and then last but not least is probably my favorite item honestly when i first saw this one i thought oh my god this is the ugliest thing i've ever seen but now that i've had it for two weeks in my room i kind of started to love it like actually this could be a look right no but yeah, the reason why I kept this for two weeks in my room is just because I was like really having some insecurity issues. Like, can I pull this off? Uh, will it look good on me? Do I have clothes to style this with? Because obviously, because of the lockdown, I cannot go shopping for other items to make a look with this. So I'll just have to do with items that I have in my closet. And I have to say, I'm not the most fashionable person. I'm trying to become one, but I, I don't think I am. <laughs> Anyway, I want to give it my all in this video and I hope you guys like it, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna try this eye gel. Oh, this is quite thick actually. Like normally it's like a really small, whatever, let's try it out. Oh my god, I'm scared. Okay. 
Okay, so as you can see, in color it doesn't change that much, but it adds a lot more sparkle. I think I actually will love this stuff. I think it looks quite quite nice actually. Wait, let me just put some on my hand. You see it's very glistery. It doesn't really have much color, but it has a lot of sparkles. Alright, second item. It's... Oh my god. <laughs> this is strong. This has such a strong smell. If you've ever been in Korea and you tried their grape candy, it smells exactly like that. It feels, it smells so chemical. I really, really don't like this smell, but I love the color, but I don't like this smell. Why does it have to be so strong? Anyway. Ooh, that's dark. Ooh, that's really dark. I didn't expect this to be so dark, oh my god. <laughs> Actually, I like it. I don't like the smell, but I really like the color though. So the first look is a sexy look. I normally wouldn't wear this, but I combined it with a black pant and the pearl hair clips that I actually really love with this look. I wouldn't wear this normally, but you know, if you go out to a club or something, I could definitely see someone wear this. And I used a white band for around the bra so that everything is covered. Honestly, I feel a little bit insecure for showing so much skin, but I know that some people out there really love this kind of style. So yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. Then for the second look, I really wanted to go the opposite way and try something really cute, a little bit Lolita-ish, but not entirely, just something that is inspired by. And I actually really felt great. The cardigan I bought somewhere in Korea, I don't know where anymore, but the dress is from Yestel as well. For look three, I wanted to have something a little bit more classic, so I decided to go with a sort of suit with a blazer and short pants. I think this look would be so much fun for in the spring or summer. I bought the duo blazer and pen in Korea, but honestly, I cannot remember where anymore. It was that market I really love to go to small stores in Korea, so I really wish I could tell you where I got it from, but unfortunately, I can't. For look 4, I went with the crazy sweater. I decided to put on some of the hair clips and really go crazy with it. I kind of could imagine myself being an art student of some sort and I actually had so much fun creating this style. I put it together with some loose black pants and the white handbag and some heels. And yeah, I thought it looked really good. And then for the last look, I went again with the crazy sweater, but this time I put a skater skirt under it, which I got on H&M with some knee-high boots that I got from Yesta as well. But I would not recommend buying them because they're like really small and uncomfortable. But yeah, I really like this look as well. It feels me a little bit like a schoolgirl meets skating, so yeah. Also, I have a big love for big sweaters, so... I really, really grew to love this one. So those were the outfits. I had a lot of fun. Actually, I'm already busy with my next Yes Style video, which will probably come in February or March, depending on when I receive the items. But I have three options for this video, and I want you guys to vote for it because I want to make content that you guys love to watch. So I've put a poll on my Instagram story, but if you don't have Instagram, you can also comment your favorite decision down below. And then I will just choose whatever option had the most votes. Right, so option number one is buying Korean makeup and make a whole face of Korean makeup. But I already kind of do this on my channel, so I'm not sure if that's the best option. Option two is a wig haul. Like I am a really big fan of wigs because of my cosplaying side. And when I saw that Yesel is selling wigs, I was just really curious about their quality because those wigs are cheap and cheap wigs, uh, I'm not sure if they're good quality, but we don't know to review them. Or number three is an accessory haul. So what my idea was for the accessory video, if we go for that option, I will create different looks with the same clothes, but with different accessories. Actually, accessories have so much power over look. And depending on what kind of accessory you wear, you actually can give different vibes or different styles. 
and I thought it would be really fun to just experiment with that. But honestly, I just want to make content that you guys love. So let me know in the comment section down below or on my Instagram story, which of these options is your favorite and then we'll go with that one. Anyway, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on any other new videos, then don't forget to subscribe because it would help me so much to make more content like this. And you know, it just helps. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.